So you want to get into comics and you have no idea where to start. Well, I'm here to help you out by explaining an event that starts today. All new, all different Marvel. So basically, Marvel is rebooting their entire line of comics with brand new number ones starting October 6th, 2015, which is the follow-up to their massive Secret Wars event and Battleworld and all that other stuff. Since all of these titles are starting off with new number ones, I felt that this was the best time to finally get people into Marvel Comics if you really want to try out real comics. And since we don't have a lot of information on all of these comics, we're going to run through the entire list with my two weekly poll pals, Rob from Comics Explained and Sal from Comic Bop. Say, uh, Comic Pop. Say hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? This is uh, Comics Explained. Hey, what up? Comic Pop here saying hello. <laughs> All right, we're going to try this a little bit different. We've never really done this. It's basically going to be a mini The Weekly Poll episode. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what The Weekly Poll is, I am on a podcast every Tuesday, which is hosted over on Comics Explained, and it also happens on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv backslash eligible monster. Since we don't have like a, a bunch of hard, concrete information, I thought it would be more fun to give you guys a 10-minute video in which the three of us discuss this entire list of videos. Uh, co co comics, not videos. And there's a lot of them. So, uh, I, I, you know, I'm, since it's my channel and my show, I'm going to go ahead and kick <laughs> us off. Uh, uh, the first one on this title is going to be, we are going to get an A-Force number one. A-Force. Cool. I'm actually pretty hyped. Like, yeah. from what they said, it's going to be a continuation of the first volume with a couple characters added in. So I'm really interested to see what they do with it. The yeah, A-Force yeah. is probably one of my favorite Battle World titles. It was like, it was, it was an entire female team led by She-Hulk, wasn't it? I mean, I'm trying to yep. remember now. Yeah. Yep. We haven't had an issue in like a month and I read a lot of comics. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and it had like America Chavez and it had Dazzler and a couple other characters. But it was cool yep. seeing an all-female team. And it was written really well too. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm actually kind of disappointed that Marguerite Bennett is not going to come back to do this series because I feel like that's kind of her baby, her brainchild. G. Willow Wilson's a nice writer. I think she's going to do an okay job. But I, I, I'm lamenting the loss of Bennett. Yeah, I agree. Oh. I mean, I love G. Willow Wilson's uh, Willow Wilson stuff, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Uh, next up, we have Agents of Shield is going to be continuing. Uh, this is actually a series that I haven't read too much up until now, and recently, because of the show, I read all the other issues, and I loved it. It's like a little team up book with the team, the guys from the show teaming up with other superheroes in the universe. That's the same I love thing. The I love the concept. Thought, yeah, like it felt like it was like a companion comic to the TV show. Yeah. It's 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 not actually in continuity with the TV show, but you could totally feel like it was like oh Phil Coulson went with Spider Man on the off day, you know? Yeah, yeah. I love the idea. I never really enjoyed the execution, uh, so it's going to be a pass for me. But I still feel like there's hope. I want to see the Calvary show up in an event. <laughs> that would be cool. Um, next, we have all new, all different Avengers. And I'm going to go ahead and name off the list for this. We have Jane Foster Thor, Sam Wilson, Captain America, Iron Man, Vision, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Spider -Man, and Nova. I'm hyped. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Mark Wade writing it. How could it go wrong? How could, yeah. it, how could it go wrong? Um, all new, all, all new Hawkeye, written by Jeff Lemire, who wrote the amazing Green Arrow run before they moved him off and put the writers from the show on it for some weird reason. <laughs> yes, like okay, this is a title I'm really excited about because apparently it's supposed to bounce back and forth between the future and the present, and mm. deal with how Clint Barton and Kate Bishop are basically like playing the same character. Huh. So I'm I'm pretty psyched to see how it plays out. Yeah, I love the Kate Bishop character. I want to see more of that. I'm sad Matt Fraction can't come back to pl to do the writing, but man. I I liked Lemire's work on the character. I thought it was a good continuation of the book. Right. Uh, next, we have all new Inhumans, which, I mean, we all know that they're trying to make a big push for Inhumans. I like the whole Black Bolt, Game of Thrones style thing they've been doing. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with this. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm pretty yeah. <laughs> No, I'm, Who wrote I'm this? Charles Soule. Okay. Yeah, it'll be cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Apparently, it's supposed to have a feel similar. It's supposed to be about, you know, how Black Bolt deals with Medusa and Johnny Storm, like, being a couple. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Next, we have all-new Wolverine, which is now headlined by X-23, a.k.a. Laura, in the Wolverine costume. I'm crazy excited. I've always liked her, and I felt like we went as far as we could really go with Wolverine until you get... You, he needs a breather. That's basically yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, and he's he's coming back anyway, which we'll get to in a minute. I don't know Tom Taylor's work, but I like David Lopez's art, and I like the idea of X-23 being Wolverine, so I'm in. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm more curious than I am excited. I want to see how this story plays out before I jump full bore into, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> well, I yeah, I don't know if it's going to be awesome, but I will watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I am going to read it. 
Uh, all new X-Men Volume 2 is going to be the continuation of the time-displaced X-Men from the past. They are now going to be continuing onward, trying to find their place in this world, because I guess, I hope we're going to figure this out finally, but they can't go home. So, yeah. yeah. I don't care about this. <laughs> uh, actually, I think it's, I think this one's going to be geared more towards, like, teenagers. It's supposed to be, like, this big road trip thing. And so I'm, yeah. I'm kind of curious to see how it plays out. It's, you know, like I said, I don't think it's really, like, geared towards adults, but I'm curious. I mean, Dennis Hopeless does a nice job. It's Mark Bagley, so it's hit or miss. It depends on how excited he is for the project <laughs> that will de determine how good the art is. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, like Rob said, it's for kids, I think. So it's not for me. So, I like it. Yeah, I like the original. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, next up, we have Amazing Spider-Man, continued on by Dan Slott. I love Dan Slott's writing, but I kind of wish someone else would take over at this point. He's been doing it forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love his writing, so I'm not I'm not like sitting here like, oh, no, no more Dan Slott. No, I love it. I just would like to see someone else's take on it. And they're going to continue with the Parker industry storyline where he owns an entire industry. So Yeah, it feels like I think this is going to come off feeling like Batman Incorporated, you know. Yep. But I, th I think it's still going to be pretty solid. Um, I think it's a good move by Marvel to really not necessarily push Peter Parker out of the way, but to give a chance for Miles Morales to shot. And of course, we'll talk about him here in a second. But oh, I yeah. think that'll be I think it's going to be pretty decent. Yeah, I think uh, I think this is going to be a cool book. I had no interest in it whatsoever in the beginning because of the whole plan. But uh, I really dug the preview that they released. So I'm going to read it. We'll see what happens. Uh, next up, we have Angela, Queen of Hell. Uh, I, I've, I'm not going to lie, I have not been following anything with Angela. She's apparently Thor's sister, and I don't care. But uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with this, because they had an interesting run with her during Battle World. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, 1602, Angela Witch Hunter is a phenomenal series, and it's almost done by the exact same team, so it's a must-pick up for me. I don't, I'm not really feeling so here's what I think I think it was you know Queen of Hell or not Queen of Hell I think uh, 1602 did pretty well and they said well let's just bring her in and let's see what we can do but they couldn't find anywhere to put her so they put her here <laughs> <laughs> right um, next, we have The Astonishing Ant-Man, which is run by Nick Spencer, who wrote the previous run. He also did The Superior Foes of Spider-Man, and it's basically Ant-Man now teaming up with a bunch of B-list villains, doing his own thing. And it looks awesome. I loved the last run. Yes, I am very, very excited. It feels like, with when this picks up, that nothing will have changed. It almost has felt like, you know, Battle World never happened. And I'm actually yeah. that's actually really refreshing to me when it comes to the Ant-Man title, because the last run was amazing. Yeah. This is basically just deadly foes of, or superior foes of Spider-Man with Ant-Man in it, which means it's <laughs> going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, we have a out of the left field one. Black Knight is coming back. I don't even know. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I have no uh, idea. Yes, this is a cool guy. Uh, Frank Thierry's writing it, so I got to read it. I don't know. All uh, right, Luca Bazaar. I can't. I don't know who the hell that guy is. <laughs> But Black Knight can be cool, and I mean, I'm excited it, to see I think he's a medieval guy. He's going to do medieval tales yeah. again, right? Yeah, so it could be cool. Yeah. Um, next, know. we have Black Panther. I know I get a lot of requests to do Black Panther storylines, but he is getting an official book again, which I don't think he's had since, like, 2006 or something. Yeah, it's been, it's a, been while. a while. Yeah, they had a little miniseries, I think, for a while, and it, it focused on his sister taking over the role of Black Panther. But um, right. I'm actually pretty psyched. I'm, I'm really interested to see. I mean, of course, it makes sense, you know, with the movie coming out and so on. But, you know, I'm, I'm pretty interested to see what they do with his character. Yeah. yeah, I mean, apparently it's supposed to be like a really like neopolitical book, so we'll see what they do. Yeah. Uh, then we have Black Widow. I thought the last run was great. Can't wait to see what they're going to do with the next run. I feel like Black Widow is just a staple. Like, she'll never go away, even if this bombs. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, she's an Avenger. She's a huge Avenger in those movies and stuff. There's no way they can't do it. Yeah. But you got the Daredevil team. It's Mark Wade and Chris Samney. Yeah. This, was, this went from a meh to a must buy. Next, we have Blade. He's an oldie, but a goodie. I've, we haven't done Blade in forever. I mean, I haven't seen Blade in any Man, I don't, vampire. I don't care. But it's a female Blade. All new, all different oh, is it? female Blade. Yeah, it's a female oh, Blade. Oh, that's going to be interesting. And I think that this might actually segue into Blade having a show starring a female Blade as well. But we'll see. Time will tell. Yeah. Uh, next, we have, which I think is funny that they named it this appropriately finally or something like that, Captain America, Sam Wilson. Right. <laughs> all right, I am... I am very excited about this. As far as I understand it, this title is supposed to focus on Sam Wilson, like fully adopting the Captain America mantle, and it's going to bring him at odds with Steve Rogers. And I'm really excited to see how that happens. Okay, yeah, yeah. no, I've, I've, we've seen a few panels where he's kind of arguing with with Steve Rogers, so it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, it feels like this is going to be like the main book for you to get Steve Rogers in it. So, you know, if you like Steve Rogers, this will probably be a book you need to pick up. Yep. Uh, next up, we have Captain Marvel. Uh, this is obviously just a book to start hyping her up because of her movie. 
Yep. Um, but personally, I actually finally read the previous run, and I loved it. So I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the new Captain Marvel run. Yeah. yeah, I don't know the creative team at all, but whatever. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> I want to see her character transition to the same kind of style as the original Captain Marvel, where she's more in space as opposed to on Earth. Well, that's but, what they started you know. doing with the last run. Actually, I don't know. If yeah, you've read she's it. been. Yeah, she's, she's been, been in space, space for a while now. Okay. Uh, next, we have Carnage. She don't know why this exists, but we're getting a Carnage book entirely. I mean, it's Carnage. Yeah. He's going to sell well. I just don't know what they're going to do with him. Yeah, I mean, I no they idea. get Jerry Conway to write it, which is neat, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, contest of Champions. Uh, this one is apparently all the superheroes fighting. I think it's going to be a tie-in to the video game. Apparently, it's not fully going to be a tie-in to the video game. We'll find <laughs> out. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm on the fence. I never really played the game, so I wouldn't really have anything to go by jumping into it. But, I mean, at the very least, I'm curious to see how it all plays out. And it's got the maestro, so it can't be that bad. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, then we have Daredevil. I know, uh, written by Charles Soule, so I'm kind of excited to see what he's going to do with the Daredevil take. And I did read a little bit. They did release a little more information on this. He has a sidekick now that he's training. Right. Really? Yeah. That'll be cool. He looks cool. <laughs> all right. <laughs> then we have Deadpool. I mean, Deadpool's always going to be around, written by Jerry Dugan, who wrote the last stuff. So Right. So it's yeah. good. Yeah. Like, and this one's going to focus on Deadpool being the most popular hero in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> oh, so, intriguing. Yeah, I'm Sounds really about curious right. to see how that works. <laughs> uh, then, of course, we have Doctor Strange, who, uh, somebody who hasn't had a book in forever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> written by Jason Aaron, so that's a good sign. Yeah, and Chris Bachelo. It's going to be awesome looking. I hope it's great. Yeah, I think it will be. I think it'll be pretty Must solid. pick up. Yeah. And then we have Drax getting his own book, written by CM Punk and Cullen Bunn. Now, I do like Cullen Bunn. Could leave right. it at that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good luck, Drax. <laughs> I'm not really sure why he's getting a solo book. I never cared that much about Drax. To nope, don't care. Yeah. And never will. Uh, then we have Extraordinary X-Men, which is obviously going to continue the X-Men storylines. You always got to have an X-Men book. Uh, if you're, if you're going to be following X-Men, this is probably going to be your book to jump into. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is like, this is like the X-Men that you know. As opposed to the young team, this yeah. is going to be like for old school X Men fans. Yeah. yeah, this was as far as I understand it, this is like the flagship X Men title. Well, yeah. you've got the all new X Men, which is going to be for if you don't know the X Men and you just want the classic team again, and then yeah. Extraordinary X Men is going to continue what's been going on basically. Yeah, and you got Old Man Logan on the team. Yeah. Oh, I thought he gets he does get his own book. Right, we're getting to that later though. Uh, right. Next up, we have Guardians of the Galaxy, which is the Guardians of the Galaxy from the movie with a slight change up. We now have Kitty Pride in the Star Lord role. I'm really excited, actually. I really liked Kitty Pride and Star Lord, so I'm yeah. really interested to see how this how this comes out. I'll buy it definitely. Yeah. Oh no, I'm getting all of these, so we'll, I'll let you know. Like, <laughs> reviews come out. Yeah, it looks uh, cool. I like Ben Grimm on the team. Yeah. Uh, we also have Guardians of Infinity. I have no idea what that one is. That looks like that's the traditional Guardians of the Galaxy team. Oh, is it that we're used to? Yeah. Like okay. that one is going to have Star Lord, I believe. I don't know who's in it. It like looks Peter awesome, Quill. though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who's in it. Uh, then we have Hercules. He's getting a new book. I'm curious to see what we're going to do with Hercules. Uh, he's always seemed like a background character to me, so I'm kind of curious as to why he's getting a solo series, unless yeah. they're going to make a movie out of him or something, but I don't know. Yeah, I doubt it. Uh, then we have uh, Sal's favorite, Howard the Duck. Yay. Oh, yeah, he's so great, <laughs> so funny, so original. Can't and, wait for uh, moving on from that, we have How the Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> this is going to be weird. This is re it's, it's really just going to be a book about like some S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, Dum Dum Dugan, and like Marvel's monsters to me. This yeah. feels like they it had looks like their answer to the Justice League Dark. That's what it looks like. Yes, yeah, that's exactly this is Marvel that. Dark. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> they might as well call this Marvel Monsters. Uh, then we also have Illuminati, written by Joss Williamson, who has actually written Birthright, so I'm excited about this one. I want to see what he's going to do with this. I am yeah. really hyped. As, as far as I understand, it's a book that centers on villains, and it protects other villains so they can you know, continue committing crimes. I'm really hyped for this, to be honest. Yeah, Joss Williams will make this cool. I mean, yeah. We've never really had a villain-centric book before. so It's true. Uh, then we have Invincible Iron Man, and I looked this up, and apparently this one is about Iron Man being broke. He's going to yeah. be selling the Avengers Tower in the first issue. And some kid, like like some kid from MIT, managed to find a way to duplicate his armor. So yeah, yep. well, and, and he's also going to deal with finding out who his real parents are because the last story arc revealed that Howard Stark isn't. Yeah. Yes, I'm curious. I mean, Bendis is writing it, and it's been touted as pretty awesome. So yeah. I'm pretty interested. Yeah. Uh, Karnak is next. Nope, don't care. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Mighty Thor, which is, I think, that's the one that follows Jane Foster Thor, right? Yes, right. and this is going to be a big deal. There was an interview where Jason Aaron had where he said in this, at some point along the line in this title, he's finally going to address what Nick Fury said to Thor. Oh, oh God. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we have the Mockingbird book, which is basically just because she's on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they're going to see how well that does. I don't think it'll okay. do that well. I don't care enough Good about luck. her character. So. 
Yeah. I, I love how if you look at this list we have here, it doesn't even have an artist. It's just going to be a book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's getting a book. It will be there. Somebody will make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we have Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. This one was this one actually got a, a lot of flack for them changing out Moon Boy since he hasn't even been around in forever. But uh, yeah, who cares? Whatever. Yeah, care. I'm actually pretty interested. I think this will be I, more of like a fun, happy-go-lucky kind of book. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I'm excited to read this. I just don't know why I got so much flack. So yeah, I, I mean, it's I any either. reader, so it's gonna be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, next, we have Moon Knight. Can't wait to see where this is going to go with Jeff Lemire headlining it. So, yeah, sounds great. Hopefully, it's as good as uh, Warren Ellis's run. It never quite picked up from there, so I'm I'm excited. Uh, then we have Miss Marvel continuing on from the Willow Wilson run, uh, which is amazing. I can't wait for that. Yeah, right. I'm, no, I'm more the same. Excited. Yeah, it's, it's it's yeah. As far as I know, it's supposed to pretty much be the same thing. Like she's fully fledged in the Avengers now. She pretty much got everything she wanted, and it's like how she copes with that along with her family life. So I'm really interested. Yeah. Uh, then we have the next new Avengers book, which consists of Sunspot, Squirrel Girl, Hawkeye, Songbird, Hulkling, and Wiccan. Yeah, I'm not really that feeling that sense. title. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not really interested in that. I don't. I mean, you know, it's AIM was never a group that I was that interested in, and I didn't care when Sunspot bought it during Time Runs Out, so it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> right. Yeah, I do not care about this book. <laughs> next, we have Nova, uh, which is going to be about Nova and Nova. I think it's both of them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's see this one's it's really ambiguous because I've heard where people have said it's going to feature the return of Richard Ryder as Nova fighting alongside Sam Alexander, but some people are saying it's going to be Sam Alexander's dad. So Right. But perhaps they're one and the same, we don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's the big secret we're going to get revealed on. <laughs> uh, yeah. next we have Old Man Logan because you knew that Marvel couldn't stay away from having a Wolverine centric book for very long. <laughs> yes. And I'm actually hoping this comes out to be everything that Wolverine should have been by the time they canceled his title. Right. That'd be awesome. Well, yeah. it's also written by Jeff Lemire and it's drawn by Sorrentino from uh, the uh, the Outsiders War of Green Arrow. So I can't wait to read this. Yeah, it's, cool. it's going to be pretty solid. I'm, I'm hoping that they don't really like throw it all away in the beginning and it just kind of drops out from there. But we'll yeah. see what happens. Uh, next up, we have Patsy Walker, a.k.a. Hellcat. I have no idea anything about this one. I don't really yeah. care. Hellcat was never that interesting of a character. She's old, been around for a long time, but she's not Yeah, she's been around for a while. She's going to be uh, the, the new friend to Jessica Jones on the Netflix series. Oh, uh, that explains that. I have a book. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, then we also have Red Wolf, another old superhero coming back. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's American Indian, isn't he? Yes. Okay. Uh, Native American, I Native think. Native American. He's... I was trying to think of the appropriate term to say. <laughs> right. I I think it's set in the past, but I don't know. It, the art looks amazing, and it's Edmondson, so... I think it is in the past. It. I think it picks up with 1872. If it does, then that's awesome, and I'm totally going to buy it. Um, Rocket Raccoon and Groot. They're finally just merging the two of them, because they both had awesome runs, so they're just going to put them into one book. <laughs> As yeah. well. I mean, yeah. Scotty Young. Yeah, it's going to be a Scotty Young story, so I'm I'm pretty interested. I think it'll be pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, then we have Scarlet Witch. The, I feel like they keep trying to make Scarlet Witch popular again. Yeah, I don't know why. Stop it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, obviously, you know, it's because she was a big name draw for the Avengers Age of Ultron. Um, you know, going into the new Avengers and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, people are curious yeah. about her. I just don't think people are that curious that they're going to invest a bunch of money in her books because I'm not. So No. <laughs> Art by uh, Yes, good call. Yeah. Next up, we have Silk. She's continuing. I know a lot of people don't like Silk. I have, and I want to see what's going to happen with her. So. Mm. I mean, the art was great in when the in in the last series. So yeah. hopefully, if it continues, it'll it'll at least look fun. Yeah. Then we have Silver Surfer continually being written by Dan, written by Dan Slott. Loved the original Silver Surfer run by him. That was awesome. And amazingly enough, they got Michael Allred to stick around and keep going. So that sounds great. Yeah, and like his sidekick, that one chick with the glasses is going to be coming Dawn, back. Yeah, yeah Dawn. Yeah, yeah I couldn't Dawn, remember her name. Dawn sticking around? <laughs> yeah. yeah, as far as I know, she's sticking around, yeah. Oh, Dawn Greenwood will be returning as well. Good for her. Yeah. Um, with that, next up, we have the Spider-Gwen book. Uh, I, This is the character that you can tell was just looked popular, so they made a book about her. And the first yep. run was okay, but I'd like to start seeing them try to really develop her now. You know? Yeah. Well, that's what they're doing. Uh, Jason Latour had an interview with Comic Book Resources where he said the first five issues were designed to focus on her and expand on the world according to her. And this new volume will focus on, like, expanding the world as a whole. So maybe there are versions of the Avengers and the X-Men in that universe. We don't know. But we'll probably find yeah. out. So That's exciting, actually. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Spider-Man, just straight Spider-Man. And this one's actually going to be about Miles Morales' Spider-Man, not uh, Peter Parker. Yes. Yeah. I am hyped. <laughs> I mean, the creative team, the idea, the concept, I can't wait. 
yeah, it's it's high time Miles Morales got a Spider-Man title without Ultimate sitting in front of it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or his yeah. name. Or right, his name. <laughs> Next up, we have Spider-Man 2099. I'm actually shocked this is coming back because I thought the last run did not sell well. But oh well, it, cool. Yeah, and well, it wasn't really well received. I don't yeah. care at all. Yeah, well, I mean, it's been being written by Peter David. He's the one that made Miguel O'Hara in the first place. So it's kind of appropriate yep. if they're going to bring it back, they'd have him write it. But, I mean, I don't know... You know, especially after Spider Verse, I don't know if there's really much interest in Miguel O'Hare anymore. So. I don't know. It's not. Yeah, the the the, the Secret Wars series was not great. Yeah. Um, next up, we have a team up book, Spider Man Deadpool. I this, cannot wait, man. And <laughs> and it's being written by Joe Kelly and Ed McGinnis. They are the duo that made Deadpool popular in the '90s. So I am. Yeah. Really, really excited to see what they do. <laughs> I mean, this is like kind of a no-brainer. It made sense that the, it, it's. I'm surprised it's taken this long to actually create a series for this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Spider Woman, which continues uh, Jessica Drew. Drew is it Drew? Yeah, yeah. Jessica Drew, yeah. and she's going to be pregnant and have a child. Uh, it actually looks interesting, and I'm kind of. I, I, I like her character, so I can't wait to see what they're going to do. Yeah, good luck. I uh, I hate that costume, and I'm not saying that I like the old costume, but. Maybe take more than a few minutes to come up with a new one. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I felt like this comic was made on a dare. I think that it was <laughs> it was Marvel saying like we like we don't know what to do with their characters, so just throw ideas and whatever seems like, like the coolest will stick. And this was happening to be it. So right, there's so many female uh, spy superhero characters in the Marvel universe now. It's like oh yeah, right, Spider Woman. Okay, uh, here. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Spidey. Uh, who is that one about? Cause I, this is the first time hearing that. That's I'm literally pretty hyped. Yeah, it's a it's a prequel series about young Peter Parker becoming Spider Man. Yeah, oh. think of it's it like basically um, like Kurt Busiek series, Untold Tales of Spider Man. Yeah. Only it will, my guess, retcon a whole bunch of stuff to make Spider Man like more young than he was before the Secret Wars, and kind of like if you're if you miss young street level Peter Parker Spider Man, this is the book for you. That's how I felt. Uh, this came across to me as like Superboy from the Golden Age. Like, well, yeah. this is the story of how Peter Parker became Spider-Man. And the really cool thing is most likely what we'll see is we'll see villains that may pop up in Spidey that will mm -hmm. reappear in, you know, the the Amazing Spider-Man title and vice versa. So I'm curious That's to right. see how they cross those over. Uh, next up, we have Squadron Supreme. I don't care about this one at all. No, I do not. Uh, not really sure where they got the idea to create a new Squadron Supreme. Hyperion was mildly interesting, but not interesting enough to create a new series about him. <laughs> yeah, or if you're going to do that, make a Hyperion book, not a Squadron Supreme book. Right. That's a good call. Uh, then we get the next run of Star-Lord, which was great the first time, so can't wait to see where this is going to go. Yeah. 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 Uh, then we get <laughs> Starbrand and Nightmask team up. Uh, you know, I don't know why they made this. Um, <laughs> there were two characters that appeared in some issues and time runs out, and then they died, and no one really cared. So not sure where this is coming from. Yeah, I mean, it's written by Greg Wiesman from Gargoyles and yeah. uh, Spectacular Spider-Man. So my guess is it's just they're they're creating a all-ages book for, you know, w when using characters that no one would know. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we got Totally Awesome Hulk starring Amadeus Cho as the Hulk with Bruce Banner supposedly going to be there also. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. I don't know what's going to happen, though. Um, yeah. I love Greg Pak. Makes some amazing stories. The definitive, you know, incredible Hulk writer for actually quite some time now. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he does really, really good stuff. I mean, you know, I'm kind of curious. I mean, I know that there's personal reasons why he made Amadeus Cho a mainstream character, why he made him and why he's turning him into the Hulk. Um, you know, I just... This could go really, really good or really, really bad. So Yes. <laughs> Hulk is a different, difficult guy to write for. Uh, next yeah. up, we have the new line of the Ultimates. Uh, yes. Who's on this one? I don't even know this one. Oh, this is Blue Marvel, uh, Adam Brashear. This is Black Panther. This is... Okay, Captain it's, it's going to be a Cosmic okay. Avengers team. It's Black Panther, Monaco, Rum Rambo, Rambe, Rambo. Rambo. Blue Marvel, Miss America, Captain Marvel, and Galactus. <laughs> yes. yeah, no, Galactus? No, no, they're they're going to be battling right? Galactus. Yeah, they're going to be fighting Galactus in their first story arc. I'm cool. No, he's on the team. Oh, see, oh, okay. From what I saw, like they were going to be battling him, but but either way, like they're going to be a team that focuses on like multiversal threats. Right. That's so, neat. I'll yeah. read that. I'm definitely. This is definitely on my list to buy. Uh, <laughs> next up, we have the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, Volume Two. Man, I know a lot of people like the like first it. run. I could never get behind the art. Sadly, I know. It's, sometimes you just can't. You know. For me, you know, this really should be a web comic on Marvel's main website. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree with that. Um, next up, we have the Uncanny Avengers. Uh, this team is going to be Spider-Man, Quicksilver, Brother Voodoo, Steve Rogers, Rogue, uh, Inferno, or the Human Torch. It's unconfirmed. And a new female character and Deadpool. 
Yeah. yeah, I don't care about this book. I'm excited. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I feel like, like, I like it's more Deadpool the same. I mean, I like the idea of Deadpool being an Avenger. I like the idea of seeing Peter Parker, Spider Man on an Avengers team, even though he's going to be incorporated. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I yeah, it could be. It's hit or miss for me. Well, the kicker uh, is there's really no info. Like they literally said, that's true. well, every time we wrote it, like Deadpool just kept showing up, so we put him on the team, and that's all the info that exists. <laughs> right. So. I'll also say Quicksilver's costume <laughs> looks stupid. It does look kind of silly. Fast forward uh, signs. Next, <laughs> next up, we have the Uncanny Inhumans, yeah, which consists of Black Bolt, Medusa, Reader, Triton, the Human Torch, and Beast. Yeah, you know, I feel like they're just like pumping out these Inhumans titles for the sake of the fact that the Inhumans are coming out. I never found them to be that particularly intriguing. Um, it's, it'll be interesting, you know, but yeah, you know, not really I've sure. seen this team. It's Charles soul and Steve McNiven. This should be a dream team and a match made in heaven. And I it just failed to catch me the last time. So I'm not going to keep going now. <laughs> I mean, I'll buy it just to see how it turns out. I mean, I've always thought the Inhumans were mildly interesting, but you know, yeah. we'll see what happens. That's just their history has been mired with failed solo series or failed team series and then mini series and so on. So it's true. Uh, next up, we have Uncanny X-Men. I can't find who's on this team. Does anyone know off the top of their head? Oh, there it is right here. Magneto, Psylocke, uh, Sabretooth, Mystique, and Phantomex. Yes. Yeah. This is a team, as far as I've been able to, to figure it out, this basically looks like the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants if they were carrying out Xavier's dream of like a peaceful coexistence. <laughs> so I'm kind That's of interested good. to see how it happens. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I, I wish there was another artist, but, you know, it's, it looks cool. Yeah. Next we have Venom Space Knight. Eh, <laughs> I don't, don't care. care about this at all. <laughs> I like the idea, and but I'm like I'm more like just I'm like a proud parent. Like off you go, good luck, make it in the world. I hope you find a mate, you know. But I don't care anymore. Like my I'm responsibility to you is gone. <laughs> I like Venom. I liked uh, Flash Thompson Venom, so I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with this. But yeah. next up we have the Vision. Nope. Mm, no, I mean it, Vision was better when he was a character. I know they made him white for a while and took away his emotion yeah, and his personality and it was weird but you know, well I, I know that the plot behind this one is he's gonna he apparently remembers everything from secret wars and before so he's gonna wipe all of his memories and emotions well he's also creating like a vision family so yeah i don't know it's gonna i don't be care weird. about the vision so much i'm not gonna buy a book starring him <laughs> I mean, uh, next up we have the web warriors <laughs> i'm actually excited for this um i'm not a huge spider-man fan but the idea of taking over the leftovers basically from yeah. the Spider-Man universe, throwing him into a book, <laughs> having him team up and fight some people. Plus, they're also going to be a multiversal team, as far as I understand. Yep. So, um, I think their first villain is going to be Electro, some multiversal version of Electro, which is going to be kind of funky. But, yeah. uh, you know, I, I, th I think it'll be pretty decent. Ironically, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan and don't want to read this book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, we have Weird World is coming back. This book was crazy from Secret Wars, <laughs> and it's the same team. So it's like if you, oh, I, I don't even know what this is gonna be. I don't even know what this is gonna be. But it's gonna be read, awesome. I never read Weird World from it's uh, crazy. Secret Wars, it's so. like Conan in the Marvel Universe. Lastly, we have X Men number or not number X Men ninety two, <laughs> continuing the story from Battle World of X Men ninety two. I can't believe they made this keep going. <laughs> yeah, it kind of lost me towards the end. Um, I'll probably buy into it just to see how it goes, but yeah. it's just not the same as sitting in front of a TV and watching X-Men the Animated Series. Agreed. So, I mean, it's self-contained. It'll be outside of any of the existing continuities, but uh, it's still going to be a little weird. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, and that is all of the new number ones that we've currently got listed. If, if, now, Marvel has been naming off more and more as time goes on, so keep in mind, more of these might get named off. Um, this was supposed to be a quick 10-minute run-through, but it just turned into a mini The Weekly Pool. So don't forget, if you want to see m myself, Rob from Comics Explained, and Sal from Comic Pop chatting about your favorite comic book goody goodness and news and stuff, follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash eligible monster. You can find us there every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. And all episodes go up to iTunes afterwards, and they all go up to Comics Explained afterwards, so you can watch them all on YouTube or on iTunes. Uh, thank you, Rob, for joining me today to go over all of these lists. Thank you, Sal. Yep. Oh, no problem. Do you guys want to do a final plug for your channels, like what they can find over there? Uh, cool. Come check me out at Comics Explained, because I'm amazing, and my voice is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see comic book discussions, come on over to Comic Pop. We'd love to have you. All right, guys. Thank you so much. If you enjoy these little mini The Weekly Poll discussions, please let us know in the comments down below. Maybe we'll do this more often for some big news like this. Um, and if you want to get into Marvel Comics, now's the time to do it. There's just new number ones all over the place. Yeah. Uh, I'm Benny the Comic Story, and I'll see you guys next time right here. <laughs>